Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video for you about the best things to do in Nashville. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with number five. You need to go see a show at either the Ryman Auditorium or the Grand Ole Opry. Now those are two of the most historical and famous country music uh, venues in the entire world, honestly. Um, so I think uh, you definitely should check it out. You will have a great experience at Grand Ole Opry. There's usually about five acts. So even if you go see um, one big name, you're still gonna have four, uh, probably opening acts. And what's really cool about the Grand Ole Opry is they have the famous spotlight that circle in front of the center microphone. And it's kind of like, you know, a symbol of the Grand Ole Opry, if you will. <clears throat> um, it's a very calm and pretty place to be. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, the other place I spoke of was the Ryman Auditorium. Now that one is downtown. That's more of your, it's going to be uh, your everything music venue, not just country music, but it is a also a famous country music venue. Um, so you, that is also another great historical place and building um, to go see a show at if you are in Nashville. So definitely recommend that. You can go see, you know, someone who's not a country music star in the auditorium, but it's still cool because you are in such a historic venue. Um, number four, counting down. So the other best thing to do in New Orleans, New Orleans, in Nashville is go to Honky Tonk Row, AKA Broadway. And that is the row of honky tonks. Um, and if you don't know what a honky tonk is, a honky tonk is a country bar, if you will. And they play live country music. And it is awesome. So um, Honky Tonk Row, um, as you may or may not know, has many celebrity country music star sponsored bars um, or owned bars. Um, one uh, new one is Old Red, which is Blake Shelton's new um, Honky Tonk slash restaurant. It is about two stories and it's on the corner of Broadway and some other street I'm not remembering right now. Um, and fortunately it was closed for a private event when I was there, but um, you definitely should check that out if you are a Blake Shelton fan. Um, Jason Aldean also has a wonderful restaurant and bar there. It has a rooftop bar, which is awesome, and two stages. So one in the restaurant and one in the upper uh, open bar area on the roof deck. <clears throat> So those two are really big uh, restaurant bars that have the live music there that I highly recommend. They're very popular, great food, um, great drinks, great music. Who else has a honky tonk down there? Miranda Lambert. Um, she has Casa Rosa, which is also a bar slash restaurant. It has a Tex-Mex theme. Um, the downstairs is just a bar with a stage. So that is the one stage. And then upstairs is the restaurant. And you can get more complicated cocktails and um, some great food upstairs. That's where my shirt's from. It says peace, love, tacos, and... That's the Rose of Nashville. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes, I'm wearing sweatpants. Um, so definitely Casa Rosa is super cute. They have some cute flower boards and uh, neon lights you can take your pictures in front of. Um, and the restaurant has a lot of great Miranda memorabilia. You can see a lot of her dresses and guitars and just a bunch of cute stuff to look at in the restaurant. So I definitely would go there again. Number three, what do you need to do? Um, you should definitely stop at Manit Shohan's famous Indian restaurant 
at is called the Shohan Masala and Ale House. And this one is closer to uh, the Gulch area, I believe. And um, it is the best Indian food I have ever had, right? Um, I, there are not a lot of Indian places I noticed in Nashville, so um, obviously this is a special one because it is not only one of the few Indian places in Nashville, it is celebrity owned. Um, so Mani Shohan, she's not a, a country music celebrity, but she is a Food Network um, celebrity and she had won Tournament of Champions, I believe twice and she is one of the best uh, cooks and judges on Guy's Grocery Games. I love her. She has wonderful food at her restaurant. My favorite thing to get, if you had to get one thing on that menu at the Shoha Masala and Ale House, you should get the chicken tikka masala fries. Oh, I'm sorry, poutine. Chicken tikka poutine I think it is to die for so basically it's a cast iron pan that has some uh chicken tikka masala curry um in the bottom um super crispy french fries a little more masala and chicken tikka mas chicken tikka masala and then um like melted cheese curds like chunks of mozzarella basically like broiled onto your fries and they are not soggy when you get them and it is a giant like cast iron pan and it is like french fries and curry and cheese and it is a guilty guilty pleasure but um it is to die for and i don't know anywhere else that has that so you should definitely go get some chicken tikka masala poutine from the manit from the neat show Han's uh, show Han Masala and Ale House. Number two, what else should you do? You should definitely go check out the Country Music Hall of Fame. Now, you may not necessarily need to go in and take the whole tour, um, but you can go in and at least look at the gift shop. And outside is the actual Walk of Fame where they have all the stars and the cement. So it's kind of like the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but the country music walk of fame and you know dolly parton's there the judds are there everybody's there you know so it's really a good place to go and take a picture of your favorite country music stars star <laughs> in the cement and um also take the tour and see um all the memorabilia if you are into that kind of thing number one thing you should do you should definitely take a bus tour whether it be an open bus tour or a hop on hop off bus tour bar crawl tour you should definitely do some sort of tour i did a comedy bus tour with the jug sisters j-u-g-g -G, and you know it's a play on the judd sisters obviously well judd the judds they aren't sis in real life the judds are not sis you know what I mean, right? So that's their name. <laughs> and um, they are hysterical. So um, I believe they do, uh, you know, a couple different tours. One's a really raunchy, funny comedy tour. The other is a little more toury tour. Um, so if you are at all sensitive and don't want to be picked on or don't like um sexual innuendos or anything suggestive you should definitely take the uh normal tour don't take the comedy uh tour it is uh it goes there um so don't don't um just know that you should and it tells you on the website when you're booking it this you know is a comedy tour uh, it's not for the faint of art. So I loved it personally because they get to know you. They ask you your name and where you're from and they kind of interweave you and your background into their jokes when they can. You know, and you also get a nice tour of the city. You get to see the basically the loop around the city. Um, so if you do that when you first get there, I think it's really helpful because you kind of get to see the lay of the land. Um, and 
uh, get an idea for how big the city really is. Um, and they are also just hysterical, you guys. Like, um, you know, they um, have been on many um, TV shows. I believe they were on The Tonight Show or The Today Show. They were on um, Samantha Brown's show for the Travel Channel. Um, they, they, they are very popular and funny. Um, and they are comedians in their own right, and they are awesome. So I highly recommend you do some sort of bus tour to uh, see all the beautiful buildings, especially the AT&T building. Um, it's also called the Batman building is what they told us on the tour. Um, and it's so awesome. It really is a beautiful building if you haven't seen it before. And, um, you know, I, I think... You should, everyone should check out Nashville. It's supposed to be uh, one of the best cities for live music. So if you are into live music, it is the place to be. Um, so those are my top things to do in Nashville. If you're going this summer, hope you like my video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in some more travel slash lifestyle slash treasure hunting videos. Alright guys, have a good one.